Hello, everybody. The best creative map of all time. My friend, he showed me this map. It's called Watermelon Wars. Go search it up. I highly recommend you play it. It's really... F it's like this really fun zone wars. And... And it's like zone wars. But like the map's smaller. So it's not as annoying. Like there's no mythics. Which like I really like. And like there's way more teams. And like not a lot of people are showing this map. Like this isn't really a popular map. Like there's only like 27 people actually playing it. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna do public game, and I'm gonna wait for people to hop in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for people to get in, and then I'll show you guys how good this map actually is. It's really underrated. Fortunately, there is nobody actually playing this map. Like I cannot get into a lobby, like, which is really sad since this is like a really good map. The best zone wars by far, not even close. You can. And something I really don't like about Zone Wars is the Mythics. Like, most of the time I get really bad Mythics. Well, like, you can literally get OP Mythics. Which, I like Zone Wars. Like, Go Goden. But, like... But, like, this is obviously better. And once you've picked out your loadout... Like, there's no, like... And there's... And there's no, like, secret catches. Like, with the Go Goden Zone Wars... You could actually get like double pump and a mythic scar but like without doing anything. But with this you don't have tree codes like that. <clears throat> it's kind of annoying. You know like getting aimbotted by people? Like and you don't even know how to? Um, the second thing I want to show you is the loot cache. A loot cache spawns right in the middle, and it drops a lot of items. I'll go through all of them. The Nighthawk is a... It is basically just a mythic. It's basically just a, uh, exotic. It's just an exotic... It's just an exotic revolver. I mean, an exotic scope revolver. But I don't really like it since there's a lot of re since there's a lot of um recoil and it doesn't even do any damage. Like so I wouldn't recommend you get that. There's a marksman stick shooter. A lot of people say that stick shooters are bad, but they're actually not even that bad. Like I'll uh this wood wall will represent can represent somebody, right? Like if you like peek behind and you have good aim, and, and then you just go through and you pump them. So yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not. Like, it's still bad. I wouldn't recommend getting it, but it's good. But but, but like it's fun. And the chug, a uh, chug chug. You know what that does? It just fills you up to full. Um, it takes 15 seconds and it has a 60 second reload time. Then we have Raz Explosive Bow. You have to, this is kind of like any other bow. You have to wait for it to charge. And then you like go. Kind of explodes. So like if somebody is like healing, right? Like if I'm healing and like you just, and, and you, and you like throw this. And then, and then if I'm not done, probably be like really low, so I can, so you can just come in and like pop me. And finally, we have the rocket ram. You all know what a rocket ram does. It just ejects you into the sky. So um yeah, please make sure to go play, but please make sure to go play this map. Like <clears throat> the person who made the person who made this probably spent a long time making this, and it does and it does not deserve to only have like 20 people playing it. It should have like at least like 7,000. 
like if you go to any other zone wars map like this it would usually have like a couple a couple thousand but this it, it doesn't have anything so please make sure to get and um, make sure to make sure to type in watermelon wars and <clears throat> and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video